Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use macOS recovery on your new Apple Silicon Mac to reinstall macOS and erase your drive. So let's jump in real quick and get started. First thing we're gonna to need to do is to boot into recovery. And in Apple Silicon Macs, it's totally changed. And the whole way we do it is very simple. You don't have to remember all these keyboard commands like Command R for internal recovery, Command Option R for the latest one, and all these different commands to remember for internet recovery and stuff like that. Internet recovery is now dead on Apple Silicon. It no longer is, exists. You have macOS recovery. Then if that's broken, there's a secondary recovery now called system recovery that'll work if macOS recovery is damaged. So it's really great that there's an additional layer of protection there. And the third option is, is if you want to, you could use a USB hard drive or a flash drive to plug in and boot directly to a to a macOS Big Sur installer, for example. But today we're gonna just use macOS recoveries. To get there, all we need to do is hold down power button. It's as simple as that. We'll hold it down for a second here. The Mac will fire up. We'll get holding, continue holding for startup options. And then another menu will say loading startup options. And as soon as you see that, you can let go of the power button. And then we're gonna see the gear, a big gear with the options. We'll wait a second because it's still loading. You'll see Macintosh hard drive. And then we can click on options to boot to macOS recovery. It's gonna boot all the way in and it only takes a couple seconds. It's very, very quick. And then here we are. Now, if you have 5 all 2 enabled with a password, you're gonna get this screen that says you need to authenticate first before you get into macOS recovery. If you don't have 5 all enabled with a password, it'll bring you right to the selection screen. If you don't know the password, you can go up here and click erase this Mac. What this does is it erases the entire drive and then boots you right back into recovery to be able to reinstall again. But we don't need to do that because we know the password, so we'll click on this and we'll do and we'll enter in the password. Hit continue, and we're in macOS recovery. Now the first thing you want to do is understand how you want to reinstall macOS or do a fresh install because there's there's two differences here. The first one is if we just want to reinstall macOS. And why would you want to do that without erasing? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Let's say something on the system gets damaged. Now keep in mind system integrity protection is, is there to protect most of the system files. So the system doesn't get as damaged anymore. But let's say maybe an update installed and it does maybe it's not booting or something. All your data is on there and you want to retain that data and just keep using Mac OS Big Sur, but it doesn't boot or something else happen. It doesn't really matter what. The, the, if you just click this and click continue, it's going to reinstall Mac OS over the top of the current version, leaving your user account, all your data and all your applications there. So it's kind of a nice little function to let you reinstall the operating system and retain all your data. Now that's option one. Option two is a fresh reinstall of macOS after erasing the disk. And this is something you would want to do if you installed Big Sur and something is wrong or you upgraded from maybe High Sierra to Big Sur and things are slow and you're saying, you know what, I'm just going to back up my data. I want a fresh install of Big Sur. This is how you would do it. We're going to go into Disk Utility here and click Continue. We'll wait for the drives to load. And this is what you're going to see. Now, keep in mind, we can go up to view so you can see all the devices and all the, you can see the top level SSD and the actual container that holds the two partitions, Mac, Mac hard drive and Mac hard drive data. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. When you want to erase the drive, you can actually go all the way up to the top level and just click, click erase. You could even go to the container and click erase. But keep in mind, most people are not even gonna be in here. So let's go back to unchecking show all devices so that you can see what most people are gonna see when they come into macOS recovery. Show only volumes. So they're only gonna see this. So what they're gonna do is most likely click on Macintosh hard drive and click erase, right? Now, this is where we need to make sure we do something important here. If you just click erase, it's gonna leave the data volume there. So when we're trying to do a fresh install and delete everything, we want to erase the volume group, which means it's gonna erase all the Mac OS data and the data. If you click on this, it will erase the Macintosh hard drive, but retain the data. But when we want to do a fresh install, we wanna erase the volume group. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna erase the entire container and then recreate it. We'll give it a second here. And that's it, done. So we'll click done and we're ready to reinstall macOS. We'll close Disk Utility and we'll get started. 
So we'll click on Reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. Click Continue. Click Continue on here. Now one thing I want to mention is, is that the full security mode is on on this device by default. What I mean by startup security is, is that it checks versions of Mac OS and personalizes it for this machine. Now you need to make sure that you're connected to Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and you can see I'm connected here, before you start the installation, or you'll get an error that says that you need to be connected to the internet before the, the installation continue. The problem is it doesn't even happen until like 10 minutes in. So make sure you're connected to the internet before you, you click continue here. Agree? Agree. And then click on the hard drive and then hit continue. And that's literally it. It's going to download the entire 13 gigabyte installer from Apple servers and then reinstall Mac OS. And before you know it, you're ready to log into your brand new system. That's about it. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to use your USB hard drive or your flash drive to do basically the same thing we did here. But it's going to be a lot quicker because we are going to, look at this, it's saying it's going to take an hour and 15 minutes to download. Imagine if you're transferring the, the operating system from here instead of having to download it from Apple. That's going to be the way to go. So anyway, I hope this video created value for you guys. And if you're looking for more videos like this, click on the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.